Hey, we're going to break down a, a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and um, we're going to play the tune, so the melody, the notes of the words that everybody sings or whistles, um, if you're a whistler. Um, so, really important thing before we get going, it is completely cool when you play this. Um, for example, the first note, the third fret of the B string to use your first finger. But, if you're up for a challenge, I want you to try and do this. When you play a note at the first fret, use the first finger. When it's at the second fret, use the second finger. When it's at the third fret, use the third finger. And when it's at the fourth fret, use the pinky or the fourth finger. Okay. That's kind of step two, making it a little bit more challenging for those of you that can get through reading the tab, follow my video. But if you're up for that challenge, try and use the same finger number as fret number. Okay, let's jump in. We start with the third fret of the B string. I'm using my third finger there. We pluck that once, it's gonna sound like that. And then we play the open high E string. And we go back to the B, we play the third fret of the B, and then an open B. So we get. And then we go to the high E string and play the third fret. So the first bar has five notes. And then we play the open E string, followed by a three on the B. That gives us our first hook, and it goes like that. And then we play three on the B, followed by an open E. And we do that again, three on the B, followed by an open E. And then we play three on the B once more. So we've gone, it has a very shy. And then we finish it off with three on the high E, followed by two on the high E. And we play that first four bars. There we go. And then we play one on the B. This is bar five now, followed by three on the B, back to one on the B. So that was one, three, one, then two on the G, followed by two on the high E, followed by an open zero and a three on the B. So that was. And then we're gonna finish off with our three, oh three, oh three. So going between the B, third fret, open E, we go three, zero, three, zero, three. And then we play zero on the high E string this time, followed by a zero on the B. Bars five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now bars nine, 10, 11, and 12 are the same as the first four bars. So I'm gonna whiz through these. We get three on the B, zero on the E, three on the B, zero on the B. Three on the high E, zero on the high E, three on the B. And then we finish it off with three, oh three, oh three, three on the high E, and two on the high E. So that was the same as the first four bars. Now we finish off with bars 13, 14, 15, and 16. That's the fourth line down, if you've got the worksheet with the tab that I've put together. Now this four bars is almost identical to bars five, six, seven, and eight. Let me show you, it's the one, three on the B, back to one on the B, then two on the G, two on the high E, then we play zero on the high E, three on the high E, and then we play three on the B, zero on the E, three on the B, zero on the E, three on the B, and then, Two on the high E, three. So it's a slightly different ending. Let's play from bar 13, so the fourth line down on the tab. We get. So the first 16 bars, which is the chorus, we're going to get. Fifth bar. Bar nine. 
bar 13. Then we get the kind of bridge, then one foggy Christmas Eve, where we go O, O, three, zero on the E string. And then we play three on the B, zero on the B, three. So the first um, couple of bars of that um, bridge section. And then one on the B, zero on the high E, three, B, Sorry, three, one on the B, and then an open B. So that's one on the B, zero on the high E, three, one on the B, zero. So I'll play the first four bars of the bridge. So it's the fifth line down on the worksheet. And then we get. Now this goes two on the G. Zero on the B, three on the B, zero on the high E, two, two, two on the high E. And then on the high E, three, three, two, zero. And then on the B, three, one, two on the G. Let me show you that section. I'm going to play the whole of the bridge now. Excellent, then we're going to finish. We go back to the chorus. Now the first four bars again are the same as the very first four bars, and we go to finish. We're going to put a little kind of uh, chordal end on the end. So let me talk you through the bottom line on the worksheet, the last line if you're playing the tune. One on the B string, three on the B string, one on the B, two on the G. So we get that. And then two on the high E, Zero on the B, sorry, zero on the high E, three on the B. So that's. And then three on the B, zero on the high E, three on the B, zero on the high E, three on the B, two on the high E, three on the high E. So that bottom uh, last bit of melody is. finish off with a 2 on the G string at the same time as a 4 on the D. We get a little double stop, so two notes at the same time. And then we strum the G major, so we get, sorry, and we're going to break our rule there. We're going to bring the first finger to the second fret of the G, pinky at the fourth fret of the D, pick the D and G together, and then put your second finger on the third fret of the low E, and your third finger, or your pinky, on the top string, the high E string at the third fret, and strum all six strings. So we get, so our last bar is, and it gives us a nice little ending. There you go, that's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Kind of uh, explain just the tune today. Um, I'll do, I think, another video talking about the chords you could play over the top and maybe even a kind of... If people are kind of for it, maybe with some likes and comments of this video, I'll do a kind of chord melody version as well. But whatever we're doing with it, um, knowing the tune is a great place to start. Happy Christmas. Enjoy, like, subscribe to the channel, all that usual Christmassy jazzy stuff. Have fun. Bye.